this is Yuli from the Ranch Simulator community team and today's tutorial is all about the greenhouse and small crops. If you're looking for the large crops including wheat, corn, and sunflowers, please watch tutorial number 4, Farming and Harvesting. Small crops are a quick and easy way to make money, especially when starting out. So without further ado, let's dive in. Firstly, I want to mention that you don't need to build a greenhouse to house your crops, but it certainly helps to keep all of your supplies together. To build a greenhouse, you will need the greenhouse walls and ceiling pieces, as well as the wood foundations. These can be found in the last section of your build book. Greenhouse pieces will require glass, which can be purchased in packs at the hardware store. Each pack contains 20 glass and costs $100. Once your greenhouse is built, or if you've decided you don't need one, the next step will be to build your crop plots. You can find these at the back of the greenhouse section of the build book. There are small crop plots that can be built with 10 planks, and large crop plots need 18 planks. Small crop plots will only hold one plant, and large crop plots hold two plants. You can water your plants by hand with a bucket, or you can set up sprinklers that can be used with a windmill. The bucket will fill a crop plot to 50 with half a unit of water, so you will need to press E twice to fill the crop plot fully. We covered the windmill costs in tutorial number 5, so if you missed it, please go back and watch that to learn all you need to know about the windmill and its usage. Sprinklers cost $25 each at the hardware or general stores, and a max of 10 can be added to each purchase. Each sprinkler can cover a two plant radius and will automatically water your plants about every seven minutes of real time. You will also need to decide how you will fertilize your plants. You can purchase a composter for $250 at the general store, which will use the feces of your animals to make fertilizer and can hold up to 20 units of feces and 20 units of fertilizer. You will have to go around your ranch and collect the feces into the composter and it will automatically convert it to fertilizer. You will then need to carry it to each crop plot and press E to deposit the fertilizer. Alternatively, you can purchase fertilizer from the general store for $100. Each jug of fertilizer contains seven units and half a unit will be used per crop plot. BC Gaming actually found a really cool hack with the fertilizer jugs, where if you stick them in a cooler when it gets down to a single unit left and take it out again, it will reset to seven units. So shout out to BC Gaming for sharing that. I would also recommend purchasing at least one bottle of agricultural medicine from the general store for $100, so you have it on hand when and if you need it. I will cover when and how to use this later in this video. You should also purchase multiple egg baskets as they can be used to transport all of the small crops except watermelons and pumpkins. Now you have to decide which seeds you would like to plant. Please keep in mind that each pack of seeds only contains 10 seeds. Plants will begin to grow at 0600 and will stop growing at 2000 each day. You will need to keep them fertilized and watered during this time to prevent them from withering. If you are using fertilizer, you will need to fertilize about every 15 minutes of real time during those grow hours. I will also tell you the water times for each of the plants in the event that you want to water them with a bucket, but I highly recommend setting up a windmill and sprinkler system to do it for you. I will also show you my harvest from one pack of seeds per type. Cabbages are $10 per pack of seeds. It takes about 10 minutes of real time during grow hours to grow cabbages without fertilizer or about eight minutes with fertilizer and they will only need to be fertilized when planted. Cabbages will use 2.5 units of water per 10 seconds of growth time. So you will need to water them about every five minutes during grow hours. Once they reach 100%, the cabbage plant will start to wither at the same rate of growth. So they need to be harvested fast. Cabbages only have a single harvest before they need to be reseeded. Cabbages sell for $5 each. Therefore, each pack of seeds will give you a profit of $40, not including the cost of fertilizer. All the rest of the small crops we discuss will have a 10% chance to wither once harvested, and that chance will increase with every additional harvest of the plant. Watermelon seeds are also $10 per pack. It takes about 15 minutes of real time during grow hours to grow without fertilizer and about 12 minutes with fertilizer and will only need to be fertilized when planted. 
watermelons will use 2.22 units of water per 10 seconds of growth time, so you will need to water them about every six minutes during grow hours. Watermelons sell for $7 each, and this was my full harvest from one pack of seeds. Pumpkin seeds are also $10 per pack. It takes just over 40 minutes of real time during grow hours to grow pumpkins without fertilizer and just over 30 minutes with fertilizer. You will need to re-fertilize them once about halfway through the growing process. Pumpkins will use 0.41 units of water per 10 seconds of growth time, so they will not need water after the initial planting. Pumpkins sell for $10 each, and this was my full harvest from one pack of seeds. Bell peppers are $20 for a pack of seeds, and it takes just over 20 minutes to grow without fertilizer or about 15 minutes with fertilizer, so they will not need fertilizer again after planting. Bell peppers use 2.5 units of water per 10 seconds of growth time, so they will need to be watered about every five minutes during grow hours. Bell peppers only sell for $2 per bunch, but each plant will give you four bunches, so this was my full harvest from one pack of seeds. Tomatoes are $30 for a pack of seeds, and it takes about 40 minutes real time during grow hours to grow them without fertilizer, and about 30 minutes with fertilizer, so they will need to be re-fertilized about halfway through, or at about 15 minutes of real time during grow hours. Tomatoes use 1.25 units of water per 10 seconds of grow time, so you will need to water them about every 12 to 13 minutes. Tomatoes sell for $6 per bunch, and each plant will give you four bunches. This was my full harvest from one pack of seeds. Strawberry seeds are also $30 per pack, and it takes about 20 minutes real time during grow hours to grow without fertilizer, or about 15 minutes to grow with fertilizer, and will not need additional fertilization. Strawberries use 2.91 units of water per 10 seconds of grow time, so they will need to be watered every four to five minutes during grow hours. Strawberries will sell for $4 per bunch, and each plant will give four bunches per harvest. This was my full harvest from one pack of seeds. Pineapple seeds, which are my personal preference, are $45 per pack. They take just over one hour of real time during grow hours to grow them without fertilizer, or about 45 minutes with, so they will need to be fertilized twice after the initial planting. Since I have my days set to 60 minutes long, this means that I harvest about once per day on the ranch. Pineapples use 1.11 units of water per 10 seconds of grow time, so they will need to be watered every 14 to 15 minutes. Pineapples sell for $30 each, and this was my full harvest from one pack of seeds. Last but not least, grape seeds are $70 per pack. Grapes take just over 90 minutes without fertilizer or about 70 minutes with fertilizer. They will need to be re-fertilized four times after the initial planting. Grapes use 0.555 units of water per 10 seconds of grow time, so you will need to water them every 25 to 30 minutes during that grow time. Grapes sell for $20 per bunch and each plant will give four bunches per harvest. This was my full harvest from one pack of seeds. So now you've planted your seeds and your plants are growing, but what do all those indicators above them mean? It's actually a lot simpler than it looks. The first bar across the top is your water bar, and this will tick down during grow hours. It will stop ticking at night, so if you see it at zero at night, make sure to fill it up before 0600 when the plant will start growing again. The second bar down is your fertilizer bar, which will only tick down one every 10 seconds. The third bar is the growth rate of your plant. Once this reaches 100%, your plant will be done growing. The last bar is what I call your spoil timer. This bar will instantly fill after harvesting if your plant has withered. This bar will also start to fill up once your plant reaches 100% and is ready to be harvested, or if your seed goes without water after planting it. There are also some indicators below the bars you will need to be aware of. The sun icon means that your plants are getting plenty of sun and currently growing. A cloud icon means that although it is during grow hours, your plants are not getting enough sun and your plots will need to be moved somewhere else. The seed will use water during this time, but it will not grow at all. 
A moon icon means that it is outside of grow hours. During this time, plants will not grow and will not use any water or fertilizer. So if you see one of these bars empty during this time, you will want to fill it so when it starts growing again at 0600, it will not start to wither. A heart icon means that your plants are healthy. Very rarely, you will get an additional symbol in place of the heart and this means that your plants are diseased. This is where you will need to use the agricultural medicine to make the plant healthy again. There is a random chance of this occurring, and in all of my small crops, I have only ever had this happen once. However, it was not during the testing for this video, but clips that I recorded prior to the Unreal Engine 5 update. That is it for this tutorial on greenhouses and small crops. Please like this video if you learned something new, and please subscribe to see all of the past and future tutorials, such as the Animal of Ranch Simulator series we just finished. Don't forget to check out the official Ranch Simulator Discord, linked in the description below, for guides and tutorials, support, or just to come chat with me. Our next tutorial will be all about quests and making money. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and happy ranching!